We're discussing non-disclosure agreements. As suggested, please feel free to contact us through the chat interface with any questions you may have. The more questions we receive, the more information we can supply through our knowledge panel, which creates a nice and rich experience for anyone who's trying to understand these granular contractual points. So to discuss the next concept, let's talk about dissemination authorizations. So confidential information is intended to be kept confidential, except in certain circumstances. A safe harbor of confidentiality is allowed for folks such as advisors, employees, lawyers, those individuals that are specified within the confidentiality agreement as authorized representatives. To see that in the contract, let's scroll down to this clause here, dissemination authorized to representatives. As you can see, we're specifically stating who those authorized representatives are. And this is a this carve out is not a exclusion to the to the obligation of confidentiality, but rather it's an allowance to allow certain individuals to extend that confidentiality obligation to those individuals and to allow them to access the confidential information. Often this dissemination will be restricted to an as needed or as necessary basis. Authorized representatives will be liable for breaches of the general duty not to disclose as if they were signatories to the agreement through whatever contractual manner is specified within the agreement. The agreement will normally specify remedies and there may be other contractual or tort claims that can be made with respect to an authorized representative who discloses the confidential information. We've included variation language on this point as well. So you may decide to find language that's more particular to your specific needs and include that or inject it into your agreement. <laughs>